Alright, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment if you like. Finally, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is out. This story starts off during summer. So the question here is, what do sorcerers at Jujutsu Kaisen do? Well, they walk around like badasses going to dark alleys trying to find spirits that they can eat for some reason. Which, did they steal that idea from Soider? And then he gives us the inside scoop into what does a spirit even taste like? He says it tastes like a dirty rag that's been used to clean up shit and vomit. Blech. Why the fuck does he eat that? So we break into another story. So there's a restaurant who was very, very successful up until there's a cow disease and nobody even wanted to step a foot in that place. And after the very successful business went under, so did the owner and his family. I mean, they're in tons of debt and I guess they didn't have the money to pay anymore. But after all that shit happened, the news broke out and everyone from around Japan wanted to come see this haunted mansion. But when they would visit, none of them would be seen ever again. They went missing. Even kids who just walked by the mansion would go missing. So who do you call? Who's up for the job? Jutsu Kaisen sorcerers. And these sorcerers must love scary stuff because they don't just go to the mansion on any day. They go on a rainy day. So it's very dark outside and the mansion is probably going to be dark inside too because no one's paid the bills in a long time there. So they get inside and you won't believe it. Someone treated this shit like it was a dumpster. But it's a good thing they found a flashlight because... It's dark in there. It's like a scary movie in there, I'm sure. How many of you guys like scary movies? Let me know in the comment section below. And which one's your favorite? Literally, this looks like it's from a horror movie. Literally, most of these scenes are. She's looking under the bed. The door's closing behind her. Jump scare in one, two, three. No, it's just some rats. So the two women figure out that this house has no stairs. It's a one level house and it's never ending. So you can't get out of it because the beginning is the end. And the front door has disappeared. And one of the ladies there says that she remembers that it's the same floor because there's a potato chip bag, a soda can, a sweatshirt. So basically a bunch of nerds or gamers were in this house. So they figure out the reason why it's a never ending path is if they move even just a little bit, the back will follow them and so they'll be trapped in a never ending loop. But if they tackle it on both directions and both of them start running towards the endings, then it won't be able to comprehend what's going on and it's going to explode. I mean, it's a pretty challenging explanation. That's why I have such a hard time explaining it too. So when the mansion explodes, everyone's boyfriend is laughing at her. So I suppose the series is going to be Gojo's school life. Who his friends are, who his enemies are, the drama, the hard times, everything. And I can't believe these two were friends at some point. This must have been one of the strongest teams at Jutsu Kaisen High. Even though not all of them get along, they still get along though. So they weren't able to complete the mission, so Gojo gets punished. So he gets punished because they didn't put a veil up, so normal people could just see them destroying everything. And so now Gojo's very upset. Except, damn, did you see that hoop? Who the fuck knew that he's that good at playing basketball? To be fair, it kind of feels forced a little bit, because I feel Gojo wouldn't be able to play basketball, but he needs to look very cool for everyone to really like him. And Satoru's philosophy is survival of the weakest. But the weak help each other while they discourage the people who are too strong. And Jujutsu High makes strong wizards go and protect the weak. While Gojo says, you know what? Stop spouting that bullshit. It's just a bunch of fucking vomit coming out of your mouth. Blech. And of course that makes the other guy really mad and says, do you want to take this outside? And everyone runs away. I feel it's the same thing as seeing two really buff guys about to fight. You either stay to see the show or you're just so terrified of what they can do that you run away. So they're about to fight until the teacher comes in and they just act like nothing ever happened. What do you mean? We were about to fight. We were just stretching. And so the teacher ends up not caring and he says, you two are going to go on a mission. So the mission is to escort this girl out and erase her. Because Tengen, the biggest bad guy in this whole show, gets her hands on this girl. He'll be living forever and he'll have super strength. Nobody will be able to beat him. Even though he's eternal power, he can't live forever. And so Gojo sums up all this long talk in a few easy words. You could let Agumon evolve to Greymon, but you can't let him evolve to Skull Greymon. But what they do want to do is make him into Kororomon. Yep, you hit it right on the head. So as long as we leave everything the same, it should be fine. So they have to go and protect this girl. They only have two days, so they have to go now. But why are they walking like that? I feel like walking like that would hurt your back and the other guy looks like a fucking idiot and then the way that gojo holds his phone does he even know how to hold the phone how many of you guys have never seen a phone like this let me know in the comment section below so satra goes inside the building and rings the doorbell to see if the girl's there and right when he rings it it explodes if he wasn't a sorcerer he'd be dead right now 
I also feel that everyone in this town is probably seeing whatever is happening right now. So they're probably going to get punished later. And so they chuck the girl out the window so Gojo and Satru cannot get her. And Satru can just fly super fast and pick her up. But that makes his army man really pissed and says, Put her down or I'll kill you. And the army man that Gojo's fighting is really interested in him. He wants to see how strong Gojo actually is. And this is just the start of it because there's going to be some super buff strong guy coming in to fight them too. So it's going to be 3 against 2, which is illegal, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Also, I don't know why it's labeled episode 25 when this is episode 1 of season 2. I guess they got tired of the main cast from season 1 because in the movie, they weren't there, and the season 2 looks like they're not going to be there either. But to be honest with you guys, I didn't even like the main cast from season 1. I like the people in the movie, and I also like the people in this season too. What are your opinions of Yuji, Megumin, and everyone else? Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Peace.